Battle of the Bands with Kyle and Sam. B to the O to the T to the D. Kyle and Sam and Kyle and Sam. T to the R and like B to the O and like Kyle and Sam. Watch the clock. Kyle and Sam and Kyle and Sam and two bad things. To the R and like T to the O and like Kyle and Sam. <laughs> well, oh, just oh, ends there. It Welcome. Ends. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome. And, that's uh, yeah. That's another theme song we have. We have eighty to choose. We from. We have about sixty to choose from. Sixty to choose from. That was number fifteen. Number and fifteen. We will have a different one every time. Country vibe. Yep. I like it. I like country vibe, and I think it's very fitting for this episode for me because I'll be doing a new country artist. Well, and I'll be doing Gwen Stefani. Who? So, <laughs> and she's a country girl too. Well, she's da- she's married to country man. <laughs> <laughs> She's married to Johnny Cash. She's married to Country Man. <laughs> country Man. Who's the guy? Blake Sheldon? Oh, right. He's married. He's weird, eh? No, he's not. Fuck. <laughs> <Love. laughs> okay. Sorry. Why? Why is he weird? I just think he's weird. He's weird, eh? Any guy that's better looking than Kyle, he finds weird. Blake Sheldon, I would not say he's <laughs> good looking. <laughs> that, oh, obviously, that is fucked up of you to say, brother. That I'm not as handsome as Blake Shelton. His facial hair is better, stronger facial hair. Are you kidding? You're, you're talking about the the, the voice judge. Maybe we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull up a pick. Let's see this. I will say Blake Sheldon, uh, he did well for himself. He's a great singer. Well, he's uh, married to Gwen Stefani. He's Gwen Stefani, very attractive. He does look like a bar fly from Kelowna. He looks like a guy <laughs> who would go to Dakota's. Yes, exactly. <laughs> he looks like a guy who's there eating the wings on a Saturday. I would give you advice on uh, what to do for your... Well, you know what you career. need to do? You got to do more race based. You need stuff. more race shit, man. Because it's all <laughs> yeah. around us, right? Race? It's all around us, man. Okay, Blake. Thank okay, you, Blake. Blake. Let's see him. Yeah, he has eras where he's very attractive. Yeah. 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 I well, like to think that I have eras where I'm very attractive too, David. Eras. Yeah, they're past. Mm. Mm. What do you mean it's past? Say, d- your prime is past. Yeah, what are you talking the, the about? My prime over. was like maybe two, four months ago. Dude, I you showed me pictures of you when you were in high school, and I can't even lie. You were a piece of ass, but that was 10 years ago. <laughs> Buddy, I like me now. You show me. Oh, actually, you, I'll be you, honest. I was looking at photos of me maybe when I first moved to Toronto, 2018-ish. Yeah. Boy, am I, do I like me more now. Yeah. I yeah. was puffy. <laughs> I was like big and jolly and like in a way where, and I'm always like this <laughs> <laughs> in a way that I couldn't believe. And I thought yeah. I was like the coolest guy. And he kind of had a mushroom cut. I always kind of had, had a mushroom eras cut. Eras of mushroom cut. Weird, weird vibes. I also, I, yeah. Yeah. Well, I just want to comment on what David said. That might've been one of the saddest sentences ever. Uh, you you were showing me pictures of yourself from high school. <laughs> I don't think I ever did that. Oh, well, you, you did it to me. Yeah, you've shown no me pictures way. of yourself. I think if you ask all of our friends, you have shown all of us pictures of you from high school. Sam, I'm not what even doing a bit. You talking I'm not about even doing a bit? But this I wonder me. what this was is me. Hey, this is me. <laughs> no, I used to play no. Look at me. Okay, maybe there's this one football photo that I think is funny, <laughs> where it's me and my brother. And we're trying to look badass. I yeah. think that's funny. I wasn't showing it in a way where I'm like. You gotta look at this. Wasn't I quite good? <laughs> it wasn't like that at all. It, it wasn't the football photos, but you were showing me photos from like your graduating class or just like just you candid at, at school or what whatever. The f- what the fudge are you talking <laughs> about, Fudge Maker? You showed me a lot of photos. Fudge Maker Fogia. Uh, yeah, you show a lot of pictures, buddy. Just fuck off. You what do? was your favorite Don't. moment from high school? Uh, the moment I got got out of that shithole. <laughs> Probably the second I stepped out of those doors and never had to come back again. Never fucking look back. Mm, my favorite moment from high school, honestly, I liked high school. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. You I don't, know. You know. No, I don't remember. Does it have to be in the high school or can it be in that era? Let's make it difficult. Yes, it has to be from in the high school. school? Well, you yeah. played sports. I'm sure there's some fun sports memories. Um, I don't think you were bullied. Were you bullied? No, no, no. I was... No. No. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Why? Why you asked? I was bullied. Well, you know, there was moments where I was bullied. What was that There like? was one guy who did not like me. One guy who did I, not like you. To, and was so directly mean to my face that he, like, this gr- girl around me looked at me and was like, what the fuck? Uh, like, what's, uh, what, what, he, what would he say? Well, he was a hockey player. Well, I, I went to this school where it was the... Regular kind of public school, but also, in addition, there's this thing called the Okanagan Hockey Academy, 
which so it was like all of these really rich kids from like America and stuff. Whoa! It would co- cost thousands of dollars. It'd be like a training camp. All these guys were like super good. I'm pretty sure one of the creators of Letter Kenny was a part of the OHA and went to my high school. Wow! Really? Yeah. And they uh, probably caused havoc on regular students. Well, they like had these big parties and they like really, really like were like you know always like. They're always, like, kind of handsome and rich, you know? Okay. And so us public school guys were like, what the fuck? You don't want to drink, a fo- like, a Colt 45 in my friend's basement? You want to go to this guy's mansion? What the fuck? Yeah. And you, so you guys went to high school? Like, you just walked the halls with these guys? Yeah. Man. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's scary. That anyway, must have been crazy. But with this guy, It was crazy. Well, he just, like, he thought I was so weird. And just stuff where I was, like, you know, trying to be funny. And I was like, you know, especially before you do stand-up, you don't have an outlet for like what tr- trying to be funny is, right? And so you're so much more annoying. I think. True. Like before I did stand up, I was like so annoying, always trying to be like, <laughs> okay, yes, madam, and I will have one more pepperoni here. You still kind of do that, but yeah. <laughs> but I yeah, would yeah, like when you used to do that, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah. I used to do it way more. Even. Way more. Wow. And this guy would be like, "You're so fucking weird, dude." Oh, fuck him. Fuck him. Oh, he's probably like a he probably like owns a car dealership now or something. I don't know. I don't care. I don't You're care. You're so for him. weird, dude. You're so weird. Fuck off. He would just say stuff like that. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm like, okay, and Romeo and Juliet is what we're reading. <laughs> Sorry. I hate that guy. Oh, Fuck I hate you. it. I honestly forget his name. He's probably one of those yeah, guys that's the like world has. Yeah, there you go. He's probably one of those guys that like thinks it's uh it's like lame to dance or it's like lame to have fun. Yes. Like when yes. people laugh and fuck around, he's probably just like, you guys are so annoying. Because the attention oh was always on him exactly. because he just stood out. There he didn't have is. to. Stood out. He was like an extremely like, you know, good looking young mm-hmm. athlete that's like has a lot of money because he's part of this big program. Yeah. It's really crazy. Yeah. See, guys like that growing up never really, uh, 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 what do you call it? Intimidated me. It would yeah. actually make me be way more annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Like, guys who are just like, can you please be quiet, dude? You're annoying me. I would then just crank it to, like, 20. I'm yeah. like, you thought that was annoying. Awesome. You yeah, thought- feels good. If I'm not doing anything wrong, I don't know. We're yeah, having fun. I agree. I totally We're agree. Fun. He was the only guy, even a semblance of, like, what a bully was good. to me. Other than that, I was just, like, weird kid who, like, was friends with everyone because I was always trying to be, like, <laughs> okay. So both you guys would keep it, keep it going when they would tell you you're weird or to shut up? Yeah, I keep well, it I'd get a little emo if uh, he <laughs> to, I would pout. Same. I would pout for sure. You go, oh, and oh. turn inward. No, he said that to me, and I couldn't believe it. Well, my friends were all similar to me, so we would bounce off each other. We would, yeah. We, it, was, I, it was an, it was very rarely a solo act. So it would be a, a few of us. So then, you know, if someone told us we were annoying, we had each other yeah. to be like, "Fuck this guy." Or are we being annoying? You know, you kind of do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, oh, I'm sorry. That speaks so much to, I think, uh, who you are, Sam, because you riff so well, with, and Kyle as well, but you riff so well with other people. You're so in tune with, like, the concept of riffing, I, be- I believe. But me, personally, maybe not Kyle, but I find I have such a hard time riffing because I never had another person to be silly with, whereas maybe you had <laughs> constantly. <laughs> what were right. your boys like in high school? Did you guys do bits? Were they funny? You have funny mm, friends? The For the most part, no. No. I wouldn't say they were funny. We would like goof around, and do like stupid guy shit, but no one was like, we weren't doing characters. It was always, or exactly. It was always yeah. me kind of being the extra one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, I think like my core group of friends that I had were very funny in the end. By the by, like when I was in grade twelve, it was like one of my friends was like Jack Hirschfield. Sure. And like sure. Pat, this guy named Patrick who did comedy after too. Yeah. And even like my friend Cam is like one of the funniest guys I've ever met. Yeah, they're great. But they're yeah. Great. Yeah, so they make I you think fun. that's yeah, it makes you funny. Yeah. It makes yeah. you funny the people you grow up with. Truly. Truly, truly. Um well yeah, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, everybody. That was a good that was a good start. <laughs> that was a good start. Good start. Well, I will say Float I didn't nice. like the Blake Sheldon thing, but yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't think I'm ug- I don't think I'm uglier than him. He's, no, actually, no. he's actually not ugly though. You guys actually look alike. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> Funny. A little bit. You gotta cool it on Bro, the Sheldon he's talk. Fucking Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani. Like that's huge. Yeah. 
Yeah. She's still hot. And I look, she has not. So I, so that's who my artist is this week, Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani. I'm in a bit of a Stefani phase right now. <laughs> looked, I looked her up. She looks the exact same. Ooh. Not even from her solo, like her, like no doubt early 90s. Yeah. She it, looks the exact same. And she got her tits and ass done, so she's oh, even better. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Um, well, okay. Uh, well, okay. well she, true. She's a mother. She's yeah. a mother, right? She's <laughs> she's a beautiful mother. I she's natural. I love it. She's natural. Italian. There you go. Maybe half. No, she got her kids done. She's mud blood. I think she's full, brother. Wow. I'm going to look that up. I did some research on her. I, I think she might be full of tell. I love, I, you are in a Gwen Stefani phase, and I could tell because we were driving home from Ottawa, and we were listening to <laughs> Sam's DJX, and DJX was like, all right, Sam. Uh, I'm gonna start playing something that you've been listening to a lot lately. This is Gwen Stefani. <laughs> so embarrassing. Like, oh, okay. Don't say that. DJX, can DJX. you ever tell them? I hear a lot of the time when you play this music, I can tell you're crying. Here is Gwen Stefani. Hey, what's up, Sam? So what we're gonna do here is kick off uh, an artist you've been listening to heavily, usually at 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> this is Whitney Houston. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> That's. Uh, what up, Sam? I'm going to play something where I could tell by your Fitbit that your heart rate is going high. I think maybe you possibly you're masturbating while you listen to this. It's Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> Coming up next, the Wiggles. <laughs> Coming up foam. next, the Wiggles. <laughs> this is Banana Foam. <laughs> What's up, Sam? It seems as if this is your sex music or some sort of music that you sex or masturbate to or just kind of like play with yourself. I don't know if you're masturbating or just kind of pulling on your penis like it's a piece of gum, but this is Banana Foam. <laughs> <laughs> this is Twinkle Twinkle Lil Sam. <laughs> You're in the car. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, they're really getting into details here. Huh? Well, AI knows too much wow, about me. <laughs> Such a funny. Uh, what's up, Sam? I love uh, DJX. It's great. I listen to it all the time. I like it. It's, it's worked on me now, AI, because I go, I go. Okay, I'm gonna go on a walk or whatever. I'm gonna put on music. I don't know what I want to listen to. DJX, boom, mm -hmm. feed it to me. We're going back. It's just like the radio now. Everything is like that. Because yeah. Spotify, the streaming was great because they're like, I get to listen to what I want, when I want. And now I'm like, give me something. I don't know. Feed know. it to me now. Everything is, is, is doing that. Where even with streaming episodes, it's like, well, it comes out once a week again. Yeah. yeah. It's like now you have to watch it on Thursday nights. And there's ads. Yeah. There's and now there's ads. ads on Amazon. I mean, what is podcasting if not talk radio? Talk radio. Yes. We're back. We're just totally. back. Totally. This is it. Full circle. I love it. We so back. What's the next thing going to be? I think VR. I think VR is going to hit heavy. I still think it's like a bit of a punchline now. Really? Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I can't imagine what's next for, like, entertainment. Yeah. Well, my friend, Shaden, smartest guy I've ever known, especially when it comes to AI. He was talking about, like, eventually AI is going to be so good that it's not going to be, like, uh, there won't be people creating anything anymore. You're literally going to just like to AI be like, I want to watch uh, this type of movie with this and this, and then AI will create that for you in real time. And he says that like it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he he said he's saying it more in just like a matter of fact, like well, this is probably where it's going to go. Where it's, there's not going to it's not going to be like a demand for artists. It's going to yeah. be a demand for a type of art now. Interesting. Can just be instead of because sometimes you watch a movie and you're like, I don't like that. Or it wasn't really what I was feeling. Yeah. Now you could or like eventually you can literally just be like, This is what I'm feeling. I want to watch this now. Yeah. Yeah. Makes me think though, I don't doubt that that will happen, but how long do you think that'll last? Because I don't know. I like I like to think that we want human things. Yeah. We want control. Yeah. I agree. But then also again, sex I don't bots know. too. I think that's well, sex that's bots next. are gonna I mean, have they not taken off already? Yeah, well, that's, well. This is one of them right here. <laughs> this is an early model. This is Gina. <laughs> Gina the bus. Gina, baby. Come I on. love her. She's very cute. She's a cute yeah. little thing. You know it's good when it's metal. You know it's good because it burns your dick when you put your uh, weenie in it. <laughs> Sam, I'm quite <laughs> crass today. Sorry, I love it. Sorry Blake. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. If you're Blake, then I'm going Stefani. And David's Harajuku girl. <laughs> Harajuku. What's Harajuku? Oh, you don't know Harajuku girls. No. Oh, you might be too young for that. Mm. So when Gwen Stefani first broke onto the scene, mm -hmm. well, her solo stuff, she had Harajuku girls follow her around 
In the music videos. Yeah. Now, what are yeah. those? Yeah. What are those types of girls? Japanese ladies. Japanese ladies that would. Uh, mm. I think mm. she showed up to the VMAs one year uh, in like a rickshaw, uh, and like four Harajuku girls pulling her, a white woman on it. Yeah, it does that? I don't know if it's if, if it holds up. To be honest. Weird. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's how I get to work. Well, I'd love to actually change one of my songs. Oh, is that how you get to work? Yeah, rickshaw for Harajuku girls. <laughs> dry- <laughs> yeah, they're right over well, there. Well, they need work now, Hi, right? Because Gwen Stefani's not really in the music scene anymore, so they need work. <laughs> so They're so strong. They do Toronto rickshaw. <laughs> well, back then they looked cute, right, in those videos, but yeah. they've been doing rickshawing <laughs> long-term, <laughs> long drives for about 20 years now. Yeah, they're so. shoulders. They're like linebackers now. <laughs> they're, they're like linebackers. They, don't, they barely look, you know... Yeah, you can get from the east end to the west end in about 10 minutes. Their side of the highway. Oh, slow down. <laughs> Easy, girls. <laughs> big, big, big barrel of oats. Whoa. Come on, girls, eat up. <laughs> Seriously. You being good, I'll wet them for you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Harajuku girls. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well... Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. We appreciate you uh, uh, listening. I heard we're we're getting a bit of pushback well, with our I, new format. I've read one comment. One comment. I was pissed off. I was pissed. Here's off. the thing. He was like, because uh, on Spotify you can be like, oh, what, what did you think of this episode? You can write whatever you want. Uh, mm-hmm. Please write in. We write we, in. we read them. Know. I read them very late at night. The good ones I love. The uh, negative ones I really like in a weird way. Yes, and well, luckily we haven't. There haven't hasn't been like a lot of vocal neg- negativity. It's only been about like two hundred, but yeah, not many. <laughs> nah, <laughs> two hundred per episode, not bad. <laughs> but I will say, this guy he heard the new format is coming out. That's where we don't play the music on the free episodes. We only listen to the songs on the Patreon, and for the free episodes, we cut that chunk of meat out and we just leave you the bread of the sandwich the bread of the sandwich bro bread lettuce mayo yeah quite a bit tomato. i would say like still like 70 to 80 percent of them it's a veggie episode. sandwich if you look at it like that but yeah he <laughs> saw that we changed the format and he replied to it and he went so i guess i won't discover new artists now yeah <laughs> well we can't hold your hand buddy in life but uh we say we say the songs so you can listen along yeah. we say the songs that you can listen along we also, if you want to listen to the music, the Patreon's five bucks. Patreon's five bucks. Five bucks. Five dollars. Five dollars. And I believe in American, it's about three fifty. <laughs> so <laughs> for our American listeners, who is now a ten percent base, yeah. And if you're if you're fans of us, uh, why not give us five dollars? I don't know. And F- that's five bucks a month, right? Is that what five works? bucks a month? And here's how we split it. I get two bucks a month. Yeah. That two bucks goes to Sammy. And then one goes to David after about, goes to David. about a year. We'll collect all his money that he makes, and yes. we'll g- get by him a, something that he likes. Something that know. he likes. Uh, you'll buy me, so you'll use the money for me? Yeah. We'll get you a Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to let you have the money. No, gonna, no, no, no. We'll get no, you no. a nice Blue Jays hat or something. Or I was thinking an all-expense trip with one of the Harajuku girls that I use. Mm. Where to that Kingston? You use. <laughs> well, see, well, I've excuse four of them rickshaw me around. Excuse wa? Oh, excuse wa? I like that. Excuse wa? <laughs> oh, the rickshaw you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, one of them, whatever one. I mean, the one that probably <laughs> thinks you're the cutest. You can take her out. She can. Yeah. Well, I think also if you want to go to an island, I think Harajuku does a uh, uh, tiki taxi too. <laughs> they, they, they do, do wa- an island. They do water taxi stuff as well. <laughs> they do tiki taxi. Yeah, well, yeah. They sit down at the uh, the Queen's Key, and you can get on the Harajuku girls. You, drive you, well, you get on her back, and she swims. Yeah, she swims real fast, kind of like David Hasselhoff in SpongeBob movie. <laughs> <laughs> Millennials, you get the reference. Millennials, <laughs> listen up. Gen yeah. Z, get your um, computers ready to research. Man, this coffee is. I feel in the zone. And can I just say, I don't know if the no- if the listeners notice a difference in our tone. We're recording this in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. It's nice. I like it. It is nice. For the past maybe six episodes, it's been at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> and we've had a yes. whole day, and we're all a little tired. Don't so. you find? Yeah. yeah. Your brain's different. Brain's different. Exhausted. Burnt out. Burnt out. Burnt out. Scared. Big, long day ahead of you. Big, long at day. night, you finish it with a big, long hour podcast. Yeah, and you start drinking coffee at night because you're like, I need something to give me a little eh, a little bump. But this is uh, 3 o'clock. Woohoo! Also, if people notice, we're not filming in our regular location. No, we, this is location number four. four. <laughs> we're in location four, motherfucker. I, hope, I don't know. Let's. Uh, this might be the spot. I right. think this might be long term. Right next to our sex robot, Gina. 
Tina, which I guess that's canon. And she in the I middle. Wish I had more to say about that. She's in the middle of us because she gets yes. jealous and she can't choose. <laughs> she can't choose. <laughs> oh, she like Kyle yeah. more or me more. <laughs> no, no, no. She is has no soul, and she is just a piece of metal that Sam has sex with. Now, why would you say that about me? Gina, new character. <laughs> Why would you say that about me, Kai Kai? Well, I don't know, Gina, because maybe I programmed you to say it. Ah, <laughs> uh, you jelly. <laughs> Gina, I'm not fucking jealous. What would I be jealous of? You're just a hunk of scrap. Starts getting hot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Grows legs. <laughs> ah. You say what? Okay, time for sit face. <laughs> Time for sit face. <laughs> well, you know, just sex or whatever. I um okay. Um, yeah, so I love this new space that we're in. This is actually the corner of my bedroom. Mm-hmm. And uh, I must say, I'm not even doing a bit. Looks great. A lot of women been in this room. Mm. <laughs> a lot that. of women. You actually would be surprised, um, Mister Mister Decided them. Junior. He goes to them. Not many women have been in this room. Mm-hmm. This well, room. Be, no offense, because before it was really bad. And what's that smell of fish? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the filet fish That's in his garbage can Now Decided <laughs> Junior I love it so I can tell Just by the even the way You say a sentence It's a sentence That I'm not gonna like <laughs> Even the way you said that I was Why crazy Why does it smell like fish You like put your <laughs> nose In the air Why does it smell like fish Tell me this then Why does it smell like Big old vagina in here You remind me of uh, Christian Bale In uh, American Psycho When you say that <laughs> Like a sociopath uh, like A banker yeah. Why does it smell like fucking fish? Why does it smell like fish? Can I see your business card? <laughs> Can I uh, see it? No, it's a beautiful type. I want to fuck while looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Which you'll notice, huge mirror on the huge ceiling. Huge mirror on That's, the ceiling. Yeah. Yes. Lottie, you should clean it. Anyways. <laughs> you, sh- you should maybe clean that. <laughs> what? Why? You should maybe clean that. <laughs> oh, now, so. how do you do cocaine off that? Oh, yeah. Um, well, I, I turn on the anti-gravity in my room. Yes, which I love. It's such a plus. <laughs> such a plus. <laughs> Thank you. My room is magic, and I love it. This is where the magic happens. Mm-hmm. Has anyone ever had sex in space? That must that must have, have happened, well, uh, right? Hmm. Um, it has to have happened, right? Yes. What do you mean no? A crew of pilots? I'm sure. A couple ladies in there, a couple guys. Honestly, for most, I they bet must for science up. they did it. I for bet science. you for science they did it. Yeah, that's what the guy says. For science, baby. For science. I bet you <laughs> someone has masturbated in space. Oh, yeah. I guarantee it. And I also and, guarantee yeah. because of the anti-gravity and you're floating around, sure. when you masturbate, it just kind of like is in the air. Yeah, what do you do? And it floats. You have oh. to like collect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Snow globe vibes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I wonder if you jerk off. So they must have a, because NASA has a device for everything. I wonder if there's like, and so this is going to be your uh, masturbation cup. <laughs> I wonder if they do that. <laughs> I wonder. I truly wonder. Can we search that up? Yeah. Same with like peeing and stuff. I wonder. Peeing, they have stuff. Do you, but how do you pee into a well, thing? Well, I think they open up the window. He pees outside. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Shut I'm it. just shitting. I'm just taking a shit. Real quick. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, the powder pot roast is really going through me. <laughs> oh, shouldn't have had that powder Mexican. Yeah, is there dairy in the powder uh, sushi <laughs> that we had? Uh, but do you think about it, though? You pee. You must pee into a vacuum or something. Yeah, of course. You must. I wish. And that's that's how far away we are from being astronauts. <laughs> <laughs> is that we don't even know how they pee or poop. No, no clue. NASA warns astronauts against masturbation and sex in space. So it's... What's that about? What do you mean they warn it? It's, they, it's, it's going to be too good. You'll never <laughs> be able to have sex on Earth again. It's going to fuck you. Fuck Marty up over there. Yeah, I know. It's like having sex on ecstasy. You know, Buzz Aldridge. <laughs> You'll just compare every time after that to <laughs> what... The, <laughs> They say don't do it, so they're kind of like uh, it's kind of a little little culty, a little religious. I think don't do it. Yeah. Are they saying it's like dangerous? A boner in space will cause male genitals to explode. You're, you no, just, you one hundred percent made way. that up. You are you're smirking. You one hundred percent made <laughs> that up. They can't see though. Yeah, they but can't see me. The, the listeners they, can hear it. They I can, can hear it in the voice. Can hear your big smile. You know what though? You're actually onto something. Ooh, very cool. Poker face. You just put on sunglasses. <laughs> scary, <laughs> scary. You're you might be honest, someone though with boner. Is there anything to do with like pressure? 
pressure or something like that? Like, you know mm-hmm. how, like, uh, when zero gravity, I don't know, you, like, weigh less? Does oh, yeah, does and boner, you become taller. Maybe boner, you have a bigger penis. Does boner, yeah, do, does weenie get bigger? Yeah, you know how, like, astronauts have to, like, train for space yeah, by, yeah. like, conditioning their body? I think to prepare themselves for that pressure on their dick, they just have to squeeze it 24-7 for, cock like, ring. three or four weeks. Yeah, yeah. there's a NASA cock ring that they actually throw on, and then they put weights on the end of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, weenies get longer, pussies get deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you are amazing today. You're getting dirty as hell. Weenies get longer, pussies get deeper. <laughs> Yo, look, it's weird Yo, that look, you're saying that. <laughs> Yo, look at the photo that Vice used for this uh, article about uh, um, astronaut masturbation. Look at this. It used a cucumber with, I guess, like icing on it. Oh. oh. Is that, that a condom? That, That's oh. a condom. In their article addressing this very serious topic, that's uh, yeah, that's crazy. That's what they use. That's crazy. A, that's a condom. That's interesting. Interesting. It's really interesting. Still don't really have an answer if anyone's had sex in space yet. There must. You know what? I feel like maybe the porn industry. There's so much money in it now. I don't think there. Are, I think it's in the budget at this point to have yeah. the first like space sex scene. Right. Billionaires are going to space now. I'd love to see Chris Hadfield have sex in space. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> with his guitar, with his porn stash, oh, big porn stash, big guitar, which big I guitar. like. Um, so, Mister Decider Junior, we are we gonna are we gonna play play, play a song, song yes. with someone that you are liking? So, uh, I was hoping to bring this for uh, a while, this little segment, which I yeah, think we're David. gonna do, yeah. but showcase Canadian uh, musicians, yes. uh, possibly from Toronto. Uh, possibly from other provinces, but this uh, guy, which we're going to show, is from Montreal. His name is Sam Kruger. He's a fantastic musician, singer, songwriter, and um, I want to show some of his music because I met him a year ago, and he's such a he's a great guy. Very cool, uh, amazing. S- I'm not going to go easy on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, well, I'm going to destroy his ass. Yes. I listened to his EP, uh, but he gave me a song which I don't know if it's on the the EP. I love, but I don't know if this particular song is on the EP, so I haven't heard it. Either. And you could listen to stuff on Spotify, on Spotify, Bandcamp, up, and all, all that. that stuff. Cool. All, all right. that stuff. Very it's very cool. soulful, uh, very, s- not soft, but um, somber. And it's he's a great songwriter. All right. Very well, let's cool. see if this is an EP or an iPoo. <laughs> Those are my two ratings. Are you playing it or should I play it? Send it to me and I'll play it. I send it to you. Send I sent the. What? <laughs> it's never smooth. It's never smooth. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be. That's on the pod. Instagram. On IG, buddy. Um Oh, is it on Spotify? Yeah, it should be. Also So this song is called All Sick Again by Sam Kruger. What do you think of that title? All Sick Again. Yeah. Been there. That's the EP name. Um, what's the song on it that I show Oh, the tit- titular song, All Sick Again? Yeah. Okay, here we go. How many times will I ruin my best shirt? Here I am. Here I great. am. I'll, I'll sink again. again. How many times will I laugh until it hurts? Here I am. Here I am. I'll, I'll sink again. again. Oh, oh, and how many times will I never drink again? Here I am. Here I am. I'll, I'll sink again. again. I love the uh, sound of the guitar. How many times will you still call me your friend? Here I am. Here I am. I'll I'll sing again. again. Out on the corner. Whoa. Outside my door. Switch up. What is left from the night? I like this. It's really great. Never again will I Is there another song you want me to play? I uh, suggested, because I spoke to Sam. Um, you spoke to this motherfucker. I, oh, yeah. he We keep in touch from time to time. I take it he has a bad relationship with alcohol just by that last song, the lyrics there. Yeah, He's yeah. been through some shit. Yeah. yeah. No, I hear it. You can tell in his voice. Sounds great. I, uh-huh. I like an artist to be to to have gone through some shit. Yeah, you know? I, yeah like, I that. like that. You can hear it in the music. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's uh, I like that a lot. Sad, sad boy. Oh, off of Kyle's gonna like this. 
This it's off the EP, the songs I write in my bedroom. And just for the listeners, he is performing in Toronto at Burdock Brewery, oh. June fifteenth, nine p.m. Uh, that's I'm amazing. A, if I'm free, I'm gonna go. Burdock um, Brewery, that's a great yeah. venue. Really great spot. Oh, should cool. I do the acoustic version? The song is called "Sad, Sad Boy." <laughs> I had thought that getting on would work to get me going Now I've found that it only gets me gone You see, it comes, yes it comes as some surprise I'm a sad, sad boy, though I'm even employed I've even had some lovers and I've even had some friends I've got a used guitar and I got a brand new bed I'm a sad, sad boy Though I'm even employed I love this kind of... Is this country or folk? Folk country? Yes, I, I saw folk. it getting yeah. on folk? was like something folk. though I like wild folk. Car, I don't like your folk. I've been moving mountains <laughs> your And folk I still like this. get left behind I like this folk. You see, I try and I keep on, keep on trying But oh. when the going gets tough Being a musician must be so goddamn cool get lonely I've even had some lovers and I've even had some friends. I feel like you can be genuine when you're a musician. And I got a brand new beard. It's hard hard to be genuine. It's hard to be genuine. I'm a sad, sad. I can't really even. I can't even imagine. Oh, good. For a moment, not being a little ironic. Ah, whatever. One of my biggest fears. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Sam, you got me thinking. Good for you. What do you guys think? Dude, I I love love that. that. I love it. Say the name again. So that song was Sad, Sad Boy, and the artist is Sam Kruger. Sam, Sam Kruger. Kruger. Like Freddy Kruger mixed with Sam Burns. Sam Kruger, everybody. <laughs> uh, Sam Kruger. Sam, Sam Kruger. Kruger. And June 15th? June 15th, 9 p.m. at the Burdock, and it's part of uh, North by Northeast. Oh, oh right, cool. right, right, right. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, that's amazing. Well, yeah, Sam, good stuff. you're all good. You're, you're Kyle, I, Kyle, you're Kyle approved. You're Sam approved. It's improved. It's improved. I love that. I am, um, yeah, I'm very envious of artists like that, that they can tour and do, do stuff. I was thinking about how yeah. cool it is to tour as a musician. I yeah. Feel. Yeah. You yeah. go places, you I laugh, feel. you party. Yeah. You're like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, you know? I feel like with music, is it's different from uh, comedy because comedy is, for me at least, it's re- it really relies on my mood. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm in a, where I feel like music, I don't know, this is just me guessing. Yeah, the song's the song, I feel. And I feel like yeah. th- if it's going to hit, it's going to hit. Where I feel like with comedy, you got it. Sh- it's like there's a chance it might not work. Totally. Because you're tired or hungover or sad. Totally. And you have to go, hey, what's up, guys? And how long have you two been together? <laughs> <laughs> I oh, know. he said two years. You said three. Oh, someone's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. We're so depressed. Maybe you get screamed at or yelled at by someone. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and then you, ha- you, you have, have to, to go, go on stage. stage after and you're like, thank you everybody for being here. It's going to be an awesome <laughs> night. I can already tell that you, you guys are a good vibe. <laughs> Crying. Yeah, you turn into a Walt Disney character. Oh, it's going to be your job. <laughs> no, okay, so this is what I've noticed about dating, right? <laughs> uh, Tearing up. Women's rooms are a lot cleaner <laughs> than fucking guys' rooms, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, look at that guy. Fucking dirty ass room people have a dirty ass room <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just like Doritos are like for uh, more for people who smoke weed he's <laughs> crying <laughs> fucking crazy and if you guys <laughs> liked my act tonight please follow me on social media it's really important uh, to get those numbers up um, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, such a nightmare <laughs> such a nightmare I hate Ma- my yeah, life. imagine that happened <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine that happened imagine ever. that happened <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, life baby. is uh, Oh crazy. David that's a great idea and I think we should really stick to this uh yes. thing yeah. where you we bring a you or us can bring a, a local artist yeah. yes. Canadian artist to the show. Just to put it out there listeners please send in any suggestions that's for a local a artists idea. uh to my at or the or the groups uh the groups I would ads. say maybe you should be the guy. I'm so down. I'd be honored because I uh uh, we've gotten some messages we've gotten before messages. of people being like, hey, I'm an artist. I'd love to be featured. Hey, yeah, why don't we? We should really uh, look weirdest. at our emails and stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I love, too? We, we mentioned, yeah. So, yeah, the message, uh, Fogia. At F-O-G-G-I-A underscore underscore. 
F O G G I A underscore underscore. I love it too. I think we meant we mentioned it maybe almost a year ago. We're gonna get a Discord. Or you mentioned it. Oh, I thought that'd be great. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but you're like, yeah, and look out for our Discord. <laughs> I'm like, brother, what is that? <laughs> it's like a community <laughs> bit thing you can. We gonna talk. do it? I think that'd be honestly an amazing idea. Cool. Well, we should do it. Yeah, we should get a tech guy. Well, we yeah. have a tech guy, David AI. David, David AI. My f- legs just went asleep sitting on this. Oh, sorry. Bed. Yeah, we need to get you a proper chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. David AI is lounging. He looks like Burt Reynolds. It's not a Burt Reynolds thing where he's on a carpet and naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's That's for the boomers, actually, that reference. Kyle's like mom and dad would get that reference. Hello, Julian Doug. Mm-hmm. Our moms are different. Are they? Yeah, talking to your mom. <laughs> Say it like that's a weird thing. <laughs> are, are all moms the same? Well, Mommies just, and daddies? Like, my mom wants me, she's trying her hardest for me to um, eat her fecal matter in pill yeah. form. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, we told your mom about that, and she thought my mom was fucking crazy. Yeah, my mom did not, and my mom's a nurse. My mom did not understand uh, what was going on. So, Kyle's mom, if you want to maybe send another voice note, kind of clearing it up, because it really confused my mother, who works in healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems more like you're scheming for me to eat your poop, which I don't understand why a mother would do that to a, her son, or even I just don't understand what the vibes are there. Mm-hmm. Seems uh, seems layered. Seems like you're, you're, <laughs> you very kind of want something out of that. Um, does not seem good. But does not seem good. What are you going to say? Where are we at? We're at good time. I think we should. Uh, you should finish your thought, and then I think we bring up our bands. Yeah. Oh, uh, I was just going to say that I also. I uh, was trying to impress your mom, and I told her, well, oh, you were great. telling her for me that I was, you know, I have a small role in a very small movie, indie movie. Oh, well, it's cool. It's a, it's a horror yeah, movie. It's cool. It's a horror movie. Yeah. Yeah, I get shot. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. And Sam told his mom, yeah. and I was in the back like, yeah, it's cool. And then she literally did not respond to it, didn't even look away from the road, and she, she said, just went. She said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, so do driving. I get off here? Driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. She's no. got to screw My loose. mother's easily distracted. Um, yeah, yeah. She doesn't really give two fucks sometimes about things. Well, yeah. Feels I good. Her after. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> Messaged her after. I tried to clear it up, but she <laughs> blocked me on everything. Left you on red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom will do that. That's my mother. We get it from her. Leave uh, me on red. I feel dead. Leave me on scene. Ooh, is it in my jeans? <laughs> <laughs> Leave me undelivered. You making me quiver. Leave me on IG. <laughs> Leave me on DMs. Mm, look at you, <laughs> my little friend. <laughs> Sam, I don't think you're getting it. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think you're getting. Trying to get more things to say, but I'm having trouble. Leave me on scene. I feel mean. Leave me on red. Oh, you ain't getting this bread. Leave me on <laughs> scene red. What else is there? You're just different. Pardon? You're just not. You're not doing it good. I say what? You're, saying, you're not doing it good. This <laughs> thing you just made up. I'm not doing it good. What is there? A, is there a standard for this? Yeah, it's because it, it's just a simple <laughs> a rhyme. Quota. What do you mean? We're making T-shirts, basically. Seen red and bread. That's a rhyme. I know, but it just doesn't. It's not good enough. Let's get into the bands. <laughs> Before I smack his bum. Must <laughs> I Got, spank your bum in front of a decider? <laughs> Guy who gets mad, but his like his threats are so like kind of cute. Dude, if you keep talking like that, I'm gonna smack your bum. <laughs> Dude, get out of my face or there's no dessert. <laughs> no, seriously, your bum's getting smacked hard. Dude, dude, go the fuck, go to your room. Go to your room, dude. Seriously. Wait, did you just fucking push me? Oh, I'm going to nipple twist you. <laughs> I think we're also doing two different bits. I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing angry bro who his threats are just things like your parents would say. Yeah. And you're you're just saying nipple twisty and <laughs> bum pinch. <laughs> I'm doing smack your bum guy. I don't understand what your fucking problem is. I'm doing Sam. smack your bum guy. Well, okay. I'm, I'm doing the bum smacker. The bum smacker. Oh, is that what they call you? <laughs> it's nice to put a face to the name. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sam, uh, let me get into my guy. Let's get into your guy. My guy is a country artist. I recently been put on to him. I maybe was avoiding him for a while in my life. And why is that? 
I don't know. I was like, ah, everyone likes him. Okay. Maybe maybe he's a little too mainstream. Okay. Maybe maybe he's just for like uh, you know a girl that you went to high school with who now works for like Arbon or something. Maybe what? that's just someone that would listen to him and loves Sorry, him. What? <laughs> Sorry, wait, what? But uh, I love this guy. He is 146th most listened to guy in the world. Okay. His name is Zach Bryan. Mm-hmm. I love go. him. He yeah, is. I'm excited you brought him this week because um, I'm not sold on the fucker. I'm really no. Not, no, I don't. He doesn't. Uh, again, you guys, you know this. I was not raised on country. I know very little about it. And whenever I hear it, I just don't. Uh, it. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really stand out to me like this guy. I don't. I don't know. I don't get it. Really. So I'm excited for you to bring uh, some songs because. What do you think of this? I'd like to get on board. Uh, a little bit about him. This is just a little blurb from his Spotify. He's a native of Oklahoma, spending time in both Ulaga and Tulsa. <laughs> Ulaga. 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 <laughs> Ulaga. That's what I say when I see a big beer I like. Ulaga. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's actually probably, probably an indigenous native word. Yeah, so. I should make fun of that. Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. And I took my cup to the, to to the, the Ulaga community. To the <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to apologize to the Ulaga community <laughs> and everyone around that and the surrounding areas as well. And since I got you, I'd like to also apologize to the Harajuku girl community. Um, <laughs> I don't have four of them in my house. They yes. don't take me everywhere. And in I don't a think you drive water taxi. I was joking around. <laughs> I, was, I don't think, and I'm not going to let D- David AI meet one of you. <laughs> Potentially date one. <laughs> That's not <laughs> happening. That was a joke. So Zach Bryan received his first guitar at the age of 14. He learned how to play, then started to write songs. When he came of age, Bryan enlisted in the Navy, just like his parents before him and his father's father before that. During his spare time in the service, he wrote songs. While on leave, he spent some time relaxing at an Airbnb in Jacksonville, Florida. He and his friends sponta- spontaneously decided to record the songs that became his 2019 debut, Deanne. He named the album after his late mother. Ah, that's very sweet. So that was his start. He just has a lot of great music that is coming out. It seems like he can't miss. I feel and like he's part of the uh, big country boom that has happened. There is Country is now mainstream. Country's not mainstream. People like country yeah. music, and people like Zach Bryan. Yeah, country is now pop music, and I feel like he's uh, the guy that kind of led the way. Yeah. He also, I think there is some, like, scandal, scandalous stuff with him. Oh, yeah? Where he wrote all this music about his cur- girlfriend at the time. Okay. People were like, he, he's the best. He's the best boyfriend. He's so sweet. And then he cheated on her. Okay. And so, I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad, but... Well, it's not good, but I don't know. But then on Reddit... Oh, I see what you're saying. So you're like, wrote all, he wrote all these like love songs. Beautiful love songs. You're amazing. Beautiful. And then cheats on her. Not cool. Not cool, bro. But then the people are getting mad. This is 81 days oh. ago on Reddit, yeah. but it's like, Singer writes songs about how problematic he is. Singer does problematic things. Bands equal shocked. I don't get it. <laughs> and then someone replied, he also said he was just a simple boy from Oklahoma who didn't give a shit about money or fame, and now he lives in Johnny Depp's $15 million <laughs> New York City apartment and buys his influencer girlfriend a $30,000 purse. So we can't really take what he sings about at face value. Yeah, it's like, guys, who gives a shit? I don't know. It's funny that he lives with Johnny Depp. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> I guess roomies. they don't live together. They roommates. That'd be, imagine being Johnny Depp's roommate. Oh, terrible. He's always Absolutely drinking terrible. like a liter of wine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Do you remember when I had big scissor hands? <laughs> what did you think of that? Did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, I did. How old were you? How old were you when you first saw me? On <laughs> when you first saw me. Aww. Do you want to watch all the Pirates of the Caribbean and get really high? Teeth are black <laughs> from wine. Uh, he looks horrible now. I'm kind. I'm sort of British, but not really. I give the aura of a British guy. Did you like Sweeney Todd? I want to be a rock star. <laughs> I look <laughs> I look like someone drew, uh, drew a Motley Crue member from memory. <laughs> I look like a mom from Barry. <laughs> 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 I look like a mother that works at the Legion. Sorry, that's my uh, roommate, Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know you uh, lived with a middle-aged woman. No, that's Johnny Depp. He shaved, he shaved today. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> okay, well, <laughs> give me speaking of middle aged ladies. Let's talk about Gwen Stefani, buddy. Gwen Stefani. All right, David, I looked her up. Uh, she is half Italian. Yeah, yeah, shakes his head. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, yeah. What do you call them? Half blood? What do you call them? Mud blood. Mud blood. What does that mean? They're tainted? Because <laughs> they're, not, they're not pure? Nailed it. Are you pure Italian? Yeah. Oh, you love it. You love it. Yeah, sorry. Um,. Gwen Stefani, man. I don't know what happened, but she just came onto my radar recently, and I'm loving her stuff. Um, I am going to change a song. but Oh, we'll, we'll, Sam. Oh, you got to stop. Always you, rush you do me. that. You rush me. Whenever I get here, you're just like, in your songs? I never rush him, by the way. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you're so crazy. Um, okay, so I'll say a little bit about her. Gwen Stefani is an American singer and songwriter. She is a co-founder, lead vocalist, and the primary songwriter of the band No Doubt, who are back on tour. Very cool. Uh, mm. Whose songs include Just a Girl, Spiderwebs, and Don't Speak. Don't speak! No, just what you're thinking! Um, she then got her own mm -hmm. solo career in 2004. I think it was, everyone saw that one coming. Yeah. Um. Uh, during the band's hiatus, she embarked on a solo pop career by releasing her debut studio album, Love, Angel, Music, Baby. Do you know what that's that stands for? But that's lamb. Wow. That was her big thing. She put out like a clothing line, lamb. Uh, inspired by pop music from the 1980s, the album was critical and commercial success. A um, lot of hits off that one. What you waiting for? Rich girl. Holla back girl. Cool. Back. Cool. Um, I heard this about Hollaback Girl. It's actually a diss track against um, Courtney Love. Wow. Yeah. Courtney Love said something like Gwen Stefani like isn't a rock star. She's a, like a cheerleader. And so then Gwen Stefani made that song. Mm. And it's like the most like in your face, like, you know, the few times been around. That. Like it's like straight up just like a cheerleader song. Yeah. And few times been around that track. And 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 been. It's such a good song. Uh huh. As soon as it starts, uh huh. This my shit. Oh my God. And it's so simple. Pharrell produced uh, this album, um, so it's a lot of like the Neptune sounds, a lot of that 2004 sound uh, that we know and we love. And she is yeah. now married to Blake Shelton. Um, yes. You. She's married to you. Uh, um, I was right. I was reading up also on No Doubt. And uh, did you know that she was actually just a backup singer? She was the background singer of No Doubt, and her brother was the lead singer. And uh, I think she was also only, like, 16 or something like that at the time. And I can't remember what happened, but she then, like, bumped him, and then she became the lead singer. And then Whoa. And then they really started to take off. Very Iron Claw. <laughs> Very Iron Claw. Yes, yes, she wrestled actually. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the thing I like about Gwen Stefani though is that she cut her teeth. She like really, uh, she wasn't an overnight success, and she's yeah. like part of that ska, California scene, like Sublime. Like she's she like started in that pretty pivotal time in music, and yeah, just did like dirty clubs and just toured all over, and and they didn't hit it for like five six years. And That's then, interesting. And then they and then they blew up, but like. She, and she boy, did they up. blow up. Huge. No doubt. Probably is one of the biggest bands of our generation. And uh, then her solo career is great, too. Anything I like, too? She put out the two solo albums. Took a backseat. Took a backseat. Mm. Not too much. That's what you get. The first two. And she did a Christmas album. But, you know. Okay. So let's get into the music. Okay. Uh, but let's say what songs we're going to do for the free listeners. Okay. And then what song are you changing out? Um, I'm going to change out, mm, 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 mm. I'm going to change out, can I have it like that with, actually, no, I'm going to keep that one. Oh my God. <laughs> keep that one. I'm going to change out what you waiting for, for the song Harajuku Girls. Okay. I just want to know what it sounds like. I saw, I haven't heard it. I just want to know. And I think it might be, uh, funny. <laughs> uh, funny. Okay. Yeah. So you're doing three songs you're doing are uh, Harajuku Girls, Wind It Up, and Can I Have It Like That. All by uh, Gwen, Gwen Stefani. Stefani. Yep. And for my Zach Bryan picks, I'm doing I Remember Everything featuring Casey Musgraves, Pink Skies, and Nine Ball. Mm, very good. Okay, well, we'll see you on the Patreon, and if, you, if, this is on, if this is for free on Spotify, we will see, see, you, see you after the rounds. We'll see you after the rounds. The 
We are back. Spotify we, listeners, <laughs> Apple Music. Oh, we just man. listened to some great stuff. You guys messed out, man. That was we 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 listened to some great stuff. Um, we were vibing. You and know, if, you wanna, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to, what the fuck we're talking about right now? You just subscribe to our Patreon, and you will you'll be in on the jokes, and you'll be in on what what we're talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, horrible at selling their own Total themselves. Terrible, absolutely terrible. But um, so yeah, that was great. What do you think of my three songs? I like them. The first one song I wasn't. It's probably my least favorite, but the last two, Pink Skies and Nine Ball, Nine Ball, I really, really liked. I like that. I, like I think I'm just in the mood right now. I don't know the He's nice story weather. Teller. Yeah, but it, this music goes well with like the weather as well. You know this. Yeah, it's nice out. Um, it's got a great voice. I love just like a harmonica, and uh, yeah, enjoyed it. What do you think of Gwen? Hmm, I think <laughs> for Harajuku girls, she couldn't name three animes, so she shouldn't <laughs> be able to write that song. Uh, Can I Have It Like That is not a Gwen Stefani song. Yeah, we learned that. She just says five <laughs> words in it. She says five words. I believe they recorded it once and just like uh, copy-pasted that throughout the song. So yeah, true. Truly true. just said Good a sentence song, once. Good song overall. Good song overall. I just don't even know if it should count. And no, I think no. that David A.I. already knows that. I kind of screwed up a little bit there. But. And I found Wind It Up to be quite scary. Yeah, it's good though. Yeah, <laughs> Scary good, yeah. Like, uh, like uh, watching... Um, uh, hereditary. <laughs> oh, oh <right. laughs> yeah. I uh, I think she gets really uh, slept on as a pop star. Yeah, totally. Yeah. No doubt, I think gets the right uh, level of respect. But Gwen Stefani as a pop star, I think I think she'll get her around. I think people will start coming back to her. Yeah, whatever. Had well, she was around so many. Her time as a pop star is pretty crazy. The music that was happening in that time. Oh, four to about oh six, oh seven. Yeah, Britney yeah. Spears. Yeah, a lot of people were dropping shit. Dropping real good shit, and they all were blonde. They looked kind of like her. Mm. Kind of maybe it was difficult. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not we're not music experts, and everyone no, you guys know that. And uh, you, I never fucking said I was. <laughs> <laughs> but we do know someone who is a music expert, and he listened to all three rounds as well. And yes, he's he going to tell us who is the winner of today's battle. Hit us, Davey AI. All right, so we're going to start with Kyle. Uh, came with Zach Bryan, and the first song is "I Remember Everything." Um, the song, the intro is very nice. Sounds like a sun is rising and every line is great and feels necessary. Uh, it doesn't feel like there was much effort put into the song, but it doesn't need much effort. Uh, so I gave it an eight out of 10. Nice. All right. That's, that's good. That's a good start. Sam, uh, came with Gwen Stefani. <laughs> uh, first song is Harajuku Girls. I don't even know if I spelled this right in my phone. <laughs> Probably did not. Um, Japanese influence, uh, sexy song, but Japanese people don't have <laughs> Japanese people don't have a lot of sex. Uh, they're oh, actually not uh, really horny in in general. They're oh. there's, no, there's a big uh, socio social thing, but they don't have sex over there anymore. David, oh. I, oh. they're fucking dolls and stuff. But the, I think they're <laughs> so why you <laughs> why you broke Kyle? <laughs> so you're making Jap I believe they're very they're sexual beings. They're sexual beings, but they usually take it out on a doll. Take it out on take it out on a doll. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, this, these are just trends from the past twenty years so, or so. I'm sorry, and I'm just wondering what your point is. I guess uh, sexy Japanese music, but Japan isn't a sexy country, oh. right? So uh, <laughs> oh, okay. kind of. So <laughs> there's two. I'm just wondering what you what where would we go from here? So there's two. She's obviously taking Japanese influences, but adding a lot of American stuff to it to cover up the hideousness of the Japanese aspect oh, of it. No, <laughs> and that's bad. What you said is that's not good. well. The hideousness of the this aspect of their of their society at this point. Mm. Okay, <laughs> they're simply not having. Stop sex. talking to me like you're writing an essay. It's confusing me. Uh, finally, it's not dancey enough to be a club. Club song. I give it a four to ten. Oh. And Japanese people do not dance. You cannot make a dance <laughs> song that has Japanese themes because they do not dance. I don't think they go to clubs. They do. They do. Tokyo. It's huge. Yeah, but Tokyo. But think about the rest of Japan. It's I don't know. Well, probably think about the rest of Canada. Yeah, you could say that about Canada. I guess you could be like, well, Hamilton people don't dance there. No, but in Japan, I need to take you. Yeah. No, I'm <laughs> taking you to J Japan. Am I? Oh, I'm getting did a you trip. Laid. To Japan? Yeah, that'd be sick. I think you'd be shocked how much people dance well, there. Well, white guys in <laughs> Japan. Karaoke's huge there. They love the singing. Singing, dancing. Yeah, it's yeah. the same kind you of world. You dance when you do karaoke? Sure. Yeah, sure. I'm, it's music. Can I have it like that? Got it like that. No, you go there and you sing, Sam. You and try your best to sing. And then people in the crowd dance. No one dances. I they listen. Know. 
Dude, they literally yeah, sit. Maybe when you do karaoke. Yeah, they sit there and they listen. <laughs> yeah. Burn. That's not weird. Yeah, maybe people don't dance. When you, I remember one time specifically, I was at a karaoke bar, or a, a kara- I was at a karaoke night, and my friend sang Miss New Booty word for word perfectly. Okay. And there was people <laughs> getting up and like twerking, and then I sang Hurt by Johnny Cash right after, mm-hmm. and they yeah. booed me mm-hmm. off stage. Yeah, no, that's good. normal. That's uh, everyone should but do. But they it people karaoke. dance. People dance. People dance. And right? Japanese people dance. Yeah. I do karaoke every single week, and no one dances when uh, I go, so whatever. Yeah, because well, you're, you're doing a word-for-word word jo- uh, John F. Kennedy speech. <laughs> you're not even doing a song. <laughs> 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 Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, second song from Kyle and Zach Bryan, uh, Pink Skies. Why do like young country artists insist on writing songs like they are weathered 50-year-old men? We know. Good point. Good point. It's okay. like you're. They just. There's no like real teenage angsty young country artist. If that makes any sense. Writing about w- really what they're experiencing mm. as a as a young person. It's always about like just being tired of this life and wanting like just can't like kind of on the edge of. Yeah. You know. I know what you mean. This is a lot to take. It's just like. Mm-hmm. Fair. Fair. Anyways, it's a it's a still a great song though. Uh, <laughs> All right. Nine out of ten. <laughs> All right, nice. Nine out of ten, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's fair. Uh, what did Harajuku girls get? Four, four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Eh, whatever. I've never heard the song before. <laughs> and I'm going back to uh, Gwen Stefani, second song. Can I have it like that? Featuring. Yeah. Yes, Gwen. yes, yes. Uh, wow. Yes. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This might just be an audio episode. We gonna find out. <laughs> Swear to God, I set a timer too. Okay. Well, I'm sure it's good. I don't worry about it. Can I have it like that featuring Gwen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's sad now. Jesus Christ. The Neptunes, the Neptunes have great drums, and uh, Pharrell yeah. as a leading man kind of sucks ass. Hook isn't anything much. Six out of ten. Hey, better than Harajuku. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be positive. Hey, what's up, dude? Yep. Uh, Zach Bryan, second song, uh, Pink Skies. Mm. Oh, you already did that. No, you already fuck. did that. Oh, no, he's spiraling. <laughs> Third <laughs> song from Zach Bryan, Nine Ball. Nine Ball. I hate how at the top of the song, like, the guitar stopped as soon as Zach started singing. It's like, we get it. You have a great voice. The guitar sounded good, though, so chill out. Yeah, um, fair enough. But it's, a, it's an upbeat song, so you know that guitar might be back. It doesn't come back. It, comes, it doesn't, whatever. It doesn't do anything <laughs> David wants. I love, I <laughs> love when you're listening and the joke. <laughs> it's an upbeat song. The guitar might be back. <laughs> it might be <laughs> back. Like it's a character in a movie. <laughs> Once again, the harmonica took center stage. Just <laughs> <laughs> once again. <laughs> so seven out of ten. Is that guitar? Never so seven back? out of ten. Perfect. Seven out of ten. Not bad. Thank you, Mister. All right, and now what do Final. we, Mister Blister? And we are low on batteries, so yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, That's we're wrapping it up. Third song. <laughs> <laughs> Third song from Gwen <laughs> Stefani, Wind It Up. Uh, once again, marching band drums from Neptune's classic. She was so hot, and she just made so many songs about being hot. Yep. 7.5 out of 10. You love an Italian girl. <laughs> half, mu- half. Daddy's uh, Italian, so that means she full Italian. No. Yeah? Dad's Italian? No, don't tell it's these like fucking half Italians. It's like when your mother's Jewish, you know what I mean? You're full Jew. When you, if your dad's Italian, you full Italian. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. buddy. No, yeah. simply no. You can't, because then you have a whole bunch of fucking people coming in and being like, "I'm Italian and taking on the culture." Right. When they have not, they're half, and, and they they're barely. Jersey Shore. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Jersey Shore Guido fucks. Yeah. Not saying that. Can I I'm, say that? <laughs> can like, I say Guido? Fuck yeah, yeah. Man. You can say Guido. Oh yeah. Give me, give me the thing. How much you give me? Oh, uh, seven point five four six. So that's uh seventeen point five yeah, for that Sam. Four, that four killed me. Um, <laughs> four out of ten. Killed my ass. Twenty four for Kyle. Woo! All right, that's a big W for the Kylers out there. We are happy and we uh, are happy pappies. I think I'm gonna have a pretty good run because this is my room. I'm a, it's home. It's good home vibe. base for me. Good vibes in here. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. And if you want the if you want to listen to an episode that with all the music, go to the Patreon. Yep. Uh, and uh, there's some big things coming your way. Sure. Uh, every Tuesday, there's five for five. Uh-huh. The show I've decided the show is actually going to be fun now. So Good. every Tuesday at nine thirty, it's what you make. Come it. on through. It's what uh, you make I'm it. always chilling there, doing my thing, and um, we'll, we'll ask you if you're dating. Great. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Sam Sam Burns, for dates and things like that. Uh, at Foja underscore underscore on Instagram, I have a show at Winona every other Sunday. Uh, please come. Bye, everybody.
Bye.